Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where you may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and indoors if necessary. So, for more in Razorback, no. Oh, for Morian is here, Battle of Morian on PlayStation, and it's at Eris. Wait a minute, what? Relay Eris. Am I blind? Nowhere to be seen. And yeah, you're going to need your Fomorian Disruptor. And also, we should have a look because 15 hours ago, in other words, yesterday, but I was at work. Damus Arcana update 29.5.5 is insert for consoles. <clears throat> so, let's have a little read through, shall we? We're officially closing out this year of updates on consoles with Demos Arcana, with cert deadlines and studio holiday closures. This is our final update of 2020 on PlayStation. It comes after many long months of tirelessly working through weird and uncomfortable conditions. We thank you for sticking by us through the uncertainties and speed bumps that work from home presented us with. All that to say that we're delighted to bring you an update chock full of Demos content to hunker down with over the holidays on the now six console platforms we support welcoming PS5 and Xbox Series X Tenno. We aren't going dark just yet though, we will be using the next couple of weeks to hotfix whatever issues we can outside of the cert process, so you might see red text make an appearance before we head off on our holiday break. But that's not all for 2020, there will also be some shocking stuffers in your navigation panel Tenno. Keep an eye out for special holiday alerts and a small Tenno bound celebration in the last weeks of December. Alright, so... We've included everything from PC Hotfix 29.2.2 to 29.5.5 and cherry-picked additional changes and fixes, most notably the Bone Widow improvements, details listed in the dedicated sections below. There are a total of 52 pages of update notes. Holy shit, I'm not reading all of that. Console specific notes, Tenogen 19 Part 1. Finally. Three new Tenogen bundles are here. They feature skins, helmets and more from our talented Tenogen artists from Round 19 Part 1. Find them in the in-game market. And yep. We shall take a look back at this in a second because they said it was going to be everything this time, and it's never been everything with Tenno Gem when it comes to consoles. So here's hoping. PS4, PS5 specific notes, updated icon to be platform agnostic across PS4 and PS5. Demos trophies, the new challenges that launched with the heart of Demos were not launched as trophies simultaneously on release. We'll be looking at bringing these in the new year. I'll be going into that in a moment because that is something I find disturbingly bad. Fixed few cases where sounds of music would stop and then fail to start up again. Fixed particle effects, clouds, fogs, etc. Appearing and rendering with harsh edges and lines. PS5 specific notes. All previously unlocked trophies on PS4 will auto unlock on your PS5 once Demos Arcana has been downloaded. Then controller additions and changes, added game setting to use Legacy Dead Zone remapping for when controlling look aim input using the controller analog sticks. Demos isolation vault bounties, can we drift underground, you've come to recognise swells with new areas to discover. Mother has three new vault bounties to complete, these new vault bounties become available after completing the initial isolation vault tier with the respective mother then offering the new vault bounty. As you unlock these new bounties, the difficulty will increase to match the prerequisite isolation vault, and rewards will differ per bounty. In addition, four new entrati vault ruins await you in isolation vault bounties. And then there's a bunch of general isolation vault changes. Scintillants have a chance to respawn in isolation vault bounties. Yeah, but I bet their drop rate is still pretty fucking abysmal. 
And then it goes on to list all the new isolation vault encounters, new necromech mods, new infested kit guns, such as the chambers, loaders, kit gun and, the kit gun and warframe arcanes, the residuals and theorems in other words. A new Damus enemy, the Mitacid, or Mitacid, however they want to pronounce it, with a Mitacid mod set. Try member offerings, has a new member family option that allows you to provide Damus resources for tokens for each entry member. Here with grandmother, member family gives you another option for those spare resources, gems and fish parts to put towards tokens outside the usual member role. For example, use a mix of resources and fish parts for some tokens. Use a mix of gems and resources for daughter tokens, yada yada yada. Lloyd Otak are tooting their own horn with the Lloyd Sentinel skin. Hey, they finally went through with it. Sun has a new Vol Pathla and Predacite preset mod available for Entrite Stand In. New Infested K Drive, Damus Quality of Life changes. So we've got. All of this that you can read here coming in along. So, <clears throat> but actually, yeah, we'll come back to that in a second because I did write down a list. Actually, I didn't write down a list. I uh, so this is meant to be Tenogen Part One, right? Yep, uh, now I've got that up, let's have a quick look. Yep, sorry, we're going back. This is going to be all over the place today. Yada yada yada, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, load, thank you. So, Gauss Grack skin, Gauss Agito skin, Grimstone Heavy Blade skin for. Yep, Obanak Hero Blade skin for Void Punch, yep. Osiris Palm skin for Lovox, yep. Hildur and Sigrun. Yep. Zephyr Blade of the Lotus. Titania Viraji. Yep. Night Hunter Cyan Dana. Yeah, and the uh, Sujinasa, the Blaze Oculus. Zulatu Chest Armor. Yep. Mantis Lilier, if that's how you say it. Skin. Wow, it looks like we may actually get everything this time around for Tenogen. Nope, I did not see... Yeah, nope, Ranular Cyandana, I almost missed that one. No! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, Mad Corpora. How the hell did I miss that? And Mirage. Yeah, everything. This may be the first Tenogen where we actually get everything on console. Wow. They really did stick to their word. I'm impressed. Hmm. But time will tell. Because nothing is certain in this day and age. So yeah. The update is coming out with all of that. Well, let's get into the heart of the matter, because that was unexpected. I did not see that yesterday before I went to work, so, yeah. Well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning now, and that launched 15 hours ago. So that would have been, what, 7 o'clock in the evening for me yesterday? Yeah, I was at work. So, everyone's talked about it, and everyone's made their opinions. The Warframe Damus Arcana available now on PC trailer. Uh, it's like to dislike ratio is still 
in the red. 1.4 thousand likes, 2.6 thousand dislikes. Holy shit. And I'm looking at this through the YouTube app on my phone. So I can't see the exact number. But that is staggeringly bad. Staggeringly bad. And it was only a matter of time before they got some response like that. <sighs> Given everything that's been said and what is actually happening. I mean, I even wrote a list. Because I went back through some of the streams from last week. And even the sound stream where they were talking about how everything Railjack related in terms of updates is going to be delayed till next year. But don't know when. The same with Wraith. Don't know when. But Railjack is a, still a broken state on console. I have tried playing it again and it has crashed my game again. So fuck Railjack for the time being till they actually work on it. Lavos is meant to be coming on PC still by the end of the year, so we're not going to see it on console till maybe the first quarter, at the latest, the second quarter of 2021. Uh, and people online always talking about, do the devs actually play their own game? I mean, last week, I'm not sure if she did it for the second time or if that was her first time ever, but Meg actually got around to doing the Damos quest. And considering how long Damos has been out for now, that's honestly shocking. But yeah, the whole like to dislike was just a build up for everything else that's been talked about in the past. I mean, the new war, let's be honest. The new war trailer, when that dropped at Tenocon, and then it said coming Christmas 2019, we're coming up to Christmas 2020 now. And even Steve said a while back how they shouldn't have shown it off that early because there's still work to be done on it. We'll probably see it Christmas next year at the earliest, I believe. And as for the Devaro Paradox, let's just forget that even exists <laughs> or was even a thing. Because I doubt we'll see that till if the game stays around till 2022. And that's just my theory. Uh, Steel Path, I mean... So many things in this game, at this point, need reworks, or need better rewards, or need something to bring the players back. Because Steel Path is still not worth doing. The resources that you get from the missions are shite. The rewards from Teshin are shite. Yeah, they've included Steel, uh, steel Essence alerts, but there's nothing worth getting from it. I mean, if you like Ephemeras, go for it, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, I think I said it, but I'm going to say it again anyway. Lavos coming on PC this year. We won't see it till next year on consoles. And then what I just said I would go back to earlier during that update read, the Deimos trophies. Now, I said this a while ago about how they do not appear They are not synced with the PlayStation Network. Forbidden Fruit. Let 50 get. Yeah, Let's see. K Drive. Fuck K Drive. That's bugged. Ride 20 Velocipods. Kill 5 Juggernauts. Burn 100 Infested Pods. They're not synced with the PlayStation Network. And Daniel mentioned actually, finally, someone. From Digital Extremes responded about this and it was Danielle on Tuesday's stream last week in regards to the Demos trophy she said they didn't have the time or resources to submit for testing and to fall within certain restrictions and rules to submit but they put it out anyway they knew they didn't have the time or resources to have it go through fully but they put it out anyway. They put out broken content. Knowing it was going to be broken. They could have just left those, in my opinion, they could have just left those trophies for Damos Arcana. 
because that would have given them more time and resources to submit them for proper testing, to fall within the guidelines, and to be submitted properly. But no, they sent it out broken knowingly. That is a fucking joke, if I'm honest. If I had done something like that, or relatively similar to that in any of my previous jobs, I would be expecting a phone call saying, you're either getting demoted or sacked. Because that is fucking appalling. It is just... Uh... But then again, I shouldn't be surprised with everything that still needs patching, fixing, reworking in this game. And for everyone else out there that feels the same way, uh, hashtag rework Frost or hashtag Frost Umbra. Yeah, Frost should be the next Umbra, either that or Loki, just because he's my main. It's just, I don't know what the hell they're doing these days. And what they were saying about how it's been... Uh, I know it's been an uncertain year, it's been crap for everyone. Everyone's been affected one way or the other, there's no two ways about it. It does suck. It does make things harder for game developers. But there are some out there that are doing a way better job with less staff and less budget. And yeah, I've got an example of that coming up in a second. Like, Did Extremes have what? Th over 300, around 360 employees? And, you know, knowingly putting out broken content. Yet, there is a game that just received arguably its biggest update to launch since its release. And that is a game I recently just got back into after a little bit of time off from it. And that is Dauntless. Dauntless just had arguably its biggest update ever with Dauntless Reforged. And Dauntless is another indie company in, based in Canada, Phoenix Labs. They have 109 employees. Think about that. They have less than half the amount of employees that Digital Extremes have. Yet they were able to launch their biggest update ever. And they listened to the player feedback about what works and what doesn't work. And they've already got a patch in preparation to fix what the players gave feedback on. That's fucking insane. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no two ways about it. They've only got about a third of the staff DE have. They're going through the same troubles as everyone else, yet they're able to do that. And also, they had cross-platform from launch. I've never played a single... I don't think I've played... I've probably played, like, a handful of matches or hunts in that game where it's just been me and the rest of PlayStation members. It's always... There's always been cross-platform where I've played with PC and other console players from Xbox. They're able to do all of that. So, I don't know what to make of the way Digital Extremes are working at the moment. I really don't. It's a weird one for me, it really is. Either way, we've got the Deimos update coming. We've got Balafamorian to take care of. Actually, let me see if I've got a good loadout. Give Balafamorian a try now. <coughs> uh, what's my Arcwing set up?
Rosamond might be good. Prisma Veritax, so lost Amisha. Yep, let's go into it. There's gotta be someone online. Right, 200,000 plus Oricon Catalyst at a million. In case my mods are on shit, I'm gonna hope I get carried. will remain impenetrable until you destroy all its shield generators. That Zeppelin just ignited an energy net. I'm stuck in here until it's destroyed. Energy net destroyed. Keep moving. The shield generator destroyed. Take out the rest. Shields down. Now get inside. Brothers! Do not let the Tenno threaten our destiny! Here's the core. Deploy your disruptor to knock out the power field. Power field down. The core is exposed. Open fire. Generate soon. Not want to be in here with us. You've done that correct, Tenno. Now rendezvous with your landing craft. Power field regeneration imminent. Get out of there. Fast.
Check your inbox, operator. Maybe orders will get a message someday. <sighs> right. Yep, thank you. 200,000 credits, Oricon Catalyst. And I was with... A couple of people that were mastery rank... Low mastery ranks, but... And died, but still managed to get the job done. But that... I've not messed with the color or the brightness in any way and that looked blown out as fuck so I'm gonna have to go through settings and see what I need to change there because that was overly bright but yeah that's everything for today and I shall see you all later